Hi everyone, Greg here. Now, when I am cooking, I really like to have leftovers and I'll leave leftovers on purpose so I can cook something else with the leftovers that I've left over. And today I was going to make a fried rice, an Asian style fried rice using some leftover pork that I've got and some leftover rice. I'm also using some other ingredients like Chinese cooking wine, soy sauce. And I'll also be making it a little bit spicy with this Korean hot pepper paste, gogojang. It's a unami sort of flavor, a little bit savory. It's a sort of a savory sriracha. I guess we could say. But it tastes really good and it's really great in all sorts of dishes. So if you're into your Asian food and your spices, look for this in your supermarket. But these are all the ingredients I'll be using. And I will be using some eggs, so for starters, let's crack those. And we'll give those a whisk. So now I've done that, that's all the preparation. Except for this little bit of onion, about half an onion that I cut up earlier. But really, mate, that's all that's the preparation. Really easy. And we are gonna cook this on a really high heat. So you need to do this over gas in a wok, preferably. I don't have a wok, I've got a frying pan. But I do have some gas on the barbie. So let's whip out there and whip this up. Let's go. Be careful. Oh, oh. <laughs> no worries. Alright, so let's start with adding some vegetable oil in. Quite a bit. Not too much though. <laughs> if that's such a thing. And we'll start with adding some onion. Some garlic here, some minced garlic. I'll use two spoons of that. And half as much ginger. Oh. Be frying that a bit. Just so you can smell those flavours coming out, which I can now. So I'll add the pork mince here. This is about a quarter of a kilo. Start browning that. And now I'll add the rice wine as well. Just a couple of tablespoons worth. Now I'll add the gold chujang. Two teaspoons of that. Or whatever is your desired heat level. Let's see how hot this is. Oh. It's not too bad, but it has got a little bit of a kick. Mix that all through. You'll notice it turned that lovely color. That looks awesome. So now I've got the unfrozen frozen veggies. I just find them really easy to use. You just whip them out, let them defrost. I've got about a cup and a little bit here, which I'll throw in. Warm those up, get them nice and warm. Now it's time to add the rice. Now I've got quite a lot here. Oh boy, I overcooked that. But it's nice and cold, it's been in the fridge overnight, so it's nice and, nice and loose. Oops, <laughs> but I'll use Maybe half that. It's probably a couple of cups worth of rice, really, that I'm using here. You don't want to overcrowd the pan, though. I'll start with that amount. Break up any big chunks that we've got. How good does that look? I mean, wow. Looks like I just stepped off a plane into Guangzhou and arrived in a place where they cook delicious food. Whew. Who needs to go to China, mate? Just come to Greg's Kitchen. So now I need to add some uh, soy sauce. Just a couple of teaspoons of that. Don't want to overdo it. And just about a teaspoon of the sesame oil. 
We'll mix that and you can really smell that sesame oil coming through now. It smells awesome. And this is nearly done now. All I need to do is finish it off with the eggs, which I'll coat the rice with by pouring it over the top. Give it some more flipping or stirring. And once you're satisfied that that egg's cooked, we'll just give it a bit of a taste here. See if it's salty enough. Perfect. And this is ready to serve up. How easy is that? Now it's just a matter of plating it up. And we'll just add some garnish on top. How easy is it to make really? I mean, it's just throwing stuff in and mixing it together. <laughs> as long as you got the heat nice and hot on the saucepan there, it'll work out fine. Well, let's see what this is like. Wow. This tastes just like the taste of Azo. It's really authentic tasting and tastes absolutely delicious. You've got to try this recipe. If you do make it, I'd love to know what you think about yours. The real taste of Asia is right in this bowl. So make sure you give it a try. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time for my next video. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's kitchen where the